Hello and welcome to Graphic Vandalism. I'm Johnny Alpha and this is a brand new edition of my series Why You Should Be Reading Image Comics. Today we are going to take a look at a very fun and funny sci-fi series called Captara by Chip Zardowski and art by Kagan McLeod. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm very new to both of these creators, but I just love what they've created here with this hilarious and nostalgic series. And I will definitely be on the lookout for more work from these two. I mean, I just see great things in the future for both Zardowski and McLeod coming out of this book. The first trade paperback for this series is out now and it's called Fear Not Tiny Alien and it's another one of Image's insane 9 dollars trade paperbacks. And at that price you really only have yourself to blame for not reading this really awesome and fun book. I really get such a kick out of this comic book. I mean, I was born in the 80s and I grew up watching Hanna-Barbera cartoons, so a comic book like this just fills me with such nostalgic fun to see things like He-Man and the Smurfs used in such a satirical manner, but never actually being mean to the subjects, but using them more in sort of like a what-if kind of joking way. The story for this book is about an astronaut slash scientist named Keith Kanga, and Keith Keith is kind of an entitled wise ass. While on a deep space mission, Keith and his crew happen upon a space anomaly and go through it, mistakenly thinking it to be a shortcut. It, however, warps them to an unknown system and leaves them marooned on a savage world. Keith, however, is rescued and brought to Endem, which is very much like Eternia from the cartoon He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, only, however, done in a manner you would expect to see in the cartoon Venture Brothers. And Keith is then told that the space anomaly that his crew had found was caused by Skullthor, Endem's number one enemy, and that Skullthor could be ravaging Earth as we speak. It is after this that a quest is launched to try to track down the rest of Keith's crew somewhere on Captara. But, at first, Keith is not wanting to have any part of said quest. It is only after heavy mocking and ridicule that Keith gets inspired, and not a moment too soon. Teamed with the valiant female warrior Shi La, they discover the others on the quest, Man On and Prince Dakor, have been captured by small smurf-like creatures called Gloms. Uh, the Gloms are these really funny little right-wing Alex Jones conspiracy theory spewing little creatures. They were once part of Indom, but they left due to being censored by the so-called liberal media, and they actually just really come off as Donald Trump supporters. And in order to save his companions, Keith must take this side mission for the Gloms to deal with this goofy wizard named Melvid, who is their nemesis. And from here, the adventure really, really takes off, and we see a lot more of what the strange world called Captar has to offer, like bee people called the Hexamen, and so much, much more. Zadowski's writing is phenomenal. All the jokes and one-liners are right on the money and so very funny. And his use of cartoons I loved as a kid, and even borrowing a bit from Ralph Bakshi's movies, really just helped create something very hysterical, nostalgic, and this just makes the perfect blend of style and humor that I love in a comic book. Kagan McLeod's artwork is just wonderful, and done cartoonish enough to match the Dasky story to near perfection, and I think doing it like this really makes the book seem whole. The characters are drawn close enough so you know who's being satirized, but still very different enough so they are their own thing. I hope this series comes back with a new story arc soon, and when it does I really hope it's as awesome as this volume, and I really hope this series has a nice long run like Shudder or Saga, because I really think this series has a chance to be just as epic as those two series are. I hope this video has interested some of you into checking this series out. It really is a lot of fun and is one of the best comedy comics I have read in a very long time. I'm Johnny Alpha from Graphic Vandalism saying, By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! Haha. <laughs>